On the previous lesson, I have showed you how to take uh, information that's sitting in one cell that actually contains multiple pieces of data that needs to go in different columns. We used uh, text or string formulas like left, right, mid, found, and find, substitute, and trim to be able to get that information out. That was actually the long way of doing that. The short way is using a feature called Flash Fill. Flash Fill is available in Excel 2013 and above. So 13, 16, and 19 should have the Flash Fill feature. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create the three columns here, date, description, and amount. Okay, I'm going to expand the columns here so they have enough space to be able to have the information that I want in there. And then from this cell, I'm literally just going to copy. So I'm going to right click and hit copy and then come into the date and just one of the cells and paste. So I'll right click and paste and I'll just paste that in there. Okay, I'll hit enter. Excel detects that as a date. So I'm going to select the entire column here and change this into a short date formatting. That way we're seeing the full date string. So on top of uh, bringing the date over on the copy and paste, it also fixed the formatting. If I were to click and drag this down on the autofill, this wouldn't work because it'll basically just bring in a sequential uh, bunch of dates. So I'm going to hit undo because I'm going to show you something different. Then on the description, I'm going to come in again on this cell and just copy the data that I want to bring in the description. So I'll copy that, come into the description cell and hit paste. Perfect. Hit enter. Nothing uh, interesting happened there. And then I'll come in here and copy over the numerical value, copy that, and then I'll paste that into amount. So if I had to come in here and copy and paste each one, it will take forever. If I select all these things and copy it down, you'll basically repeat the, the text information. It will do sequential on the numbers. That doesn't work. So what we're going to do is once we have a successful uh, separated columns in at least one of the rows, I'm going to click on the next row down on the empty part, and then I'm going to click on the data tab, and then I'm going to click on flash fill. Get ready. This will blow your mind. So I'm going to click flash fill and it does it automatically. Go to the next one, click on flash fill. It does it automatically. Click on the next one and flash fill. And there you go. When I first learned this, I thought this was some sort of crazy black magic. This is actually really, really amazing stuff. At this point, I can select the entire column, go to home, change maybe the formatting to dollar values. This is all text. So I can actually delete the original uh, as a row here, the original column actually, and then I'm going to have my data 100% cleaned up so I can do a report or import it into an accounting system of some sort.